it absolutely fascinates me that ChatGPT can play chess. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can use ChatGPT to probably learn chess or improve your chess skills. First of all, a disclaimer is using a bot to play chess on leechess.org is not uh, approved. So I'm going to just use this only for educational purpose. I'm not playing with a human being. I'm playing with a computer. So I'm going to play with a computer. I'm going to pick anything. You, you can pick the stockfish uh, different levels. I'm going to start with, you know, the basic one. And this is the game that is starting right now. So stockfish level one has played D3. Now we're going to go to the chat GPT and then set the context. You are stockfish. If you don't know, it's a famous chess engine, just like a grandmaster. You need to help me with next moves based on chess notation. I will give you the move from white and you need to give me black moves. Give me the best moves so that I can win. Okay, so it's a very simple context, nothing more. So it says that um, the, we are going to give chess notation of white's move and then it's going to respond with black. So we can say that white has moved D3. So white has moved D3. So it says, okay, one good option is it says we can do D5 or we can possibly play Knight F6. So let me say I want to do Knight F6, so Knight F6. I'm going to go back and then say that white has done E3. Okay, I did, I did Knight f6 and white played d3 so did white play d3 yes white played e3 sorry white played e3 and we're going to see what's next okay after white's e3 a good continuation for black is to play d5 okay uh, i think it, it explains a lot uh, we can say um, i don't need a lot of explanation just give me the moves Okay, so we can say, okay, current position D5 or G6. Okay, let's go with D5, D5. So I said D5 and white is E4. I did D5 and white did E6, probably E4, sorry, E4. And we're going to see what is in there. So it's going to say after whites, e4 black has different options once again it is explaining a lot but a good response would be d x e4 so we can capture with what we have in d e4 we can capture this so that's a good move okay i captured it and then white again did dx e4 so i captured then white did dx e4 okay so let's see okay if white captures the black with dx e4 so black can continue with three queen d1 plus okay so by forcing the king's king, white's king to move to the center of board black gains a slight lead in the development so q x d1 plus where is queen queen is here and we are going to capture the queen and what is the next step stockfish is going to move then the king has to move so this is some advantage so we can say okay then king x king x d1 white move then let's see what is going to happen after that black has several options one possible continuation is b5 b f5 b f b f5 where is f5 b f5 quite bad with the notations what would be bf5 okay sorry it's bishop f5 oh my goodness quite bad but see this is the place where almost you know it gets uh, confused right it says bishop f5 okay so for me to go to f bishop f5 for me to go here it's not open so probably it didn't understand this but let's say but seems i can't move bf5 because there is a pawn in the 
seventh rank. Okay, let's see. It's going to probably apologize. Okay, if there is a pawn on f7, black cannot play b5 instead. Good continuation would be knight f6. So where is my knight f6? Knight f6. And my knight is already in f6. So my knight is is already in f6. Once again, it's going to apologize and then probably say, okay, after four, can, we can we can now ask, can you list all the moves so far? And it's going to pro probably list all the moves. Okay, d3, knight f6. Okay, it, it started with d3, knight fx, knight f6, e3, d5, e4, dx e4 okay i think this is this is where probably it got a little bit confused but as you can see that chat gpt can play chess and uh, another important thing is you can actually ask it to explain things for example uh, you can go let me resign from this game and i can go to any other game and i can go pick a game that recently happened or probably you know the the game that is Currently happening, I can go get the learning thing. I can copy everything and say, can you explain this game situation and send it? And uh, I'm not going to sit and verify here what it is saying. Say it says, okay, what is the attack and summary of the moves? You can see that it in fact like starts perfectly B3, B6 and it actually explains. So this, with this, you can create chess commentary now. So it's quite easy for you to create chess commentary because ChatGPT can actually explain you every single move, like what, what exactly is happening at every single move. And um, this is quite good. Like finally, I wanted to understand how ChatGPT knows chess. Like this is quite quite a surprise for me. I mean, it could have been part of the training data, but still. So how, how do you know chess so well? So this is a question I want to ask. And it is going to tell that it is part of training. Um, so including chess games and strategies. My knowledge of chess comes from extensive training I have received on this data, which allows me to understand. However, it's important to know I don't know chess or understand chess in the game of human does. Instead, my oh my goodness. It's um okay, that's fine. Did you have any chess related fine tuning? I, I'm honestly like not quite sure, um, like if it can answer. So it says, however, I did not receive any. My training data includes wide variety of chess books and all these things. Okay, that's good. Uh, we have an information about how it understands chess. One final question that I wanted to ask is, uh, can you simulate like stockfish? Okay, let's ask, can you simulate like stockfish? Um, okay, I have, I don't know. Okay, uh, it doesn't have the computational power like, but I can suggest, okay. Let's go and then take the chess puzzle of the day. Like th this will actually close this video. This is a puzzle of the day. As you can see, a uh, lot of moves have been played and we can copy the moves and then say, what, who has to move? I think the next one black has to move. Okay, using your chess stockfish knowledge suggest me the next best move for black so we want the next best move for the black i would suggest the move rook fc2 okay rook where is move 26 is it 26 okay that's 26 rook has to which rook black rook has to f c2 f c to this one right this is the move okay which means stockfish did not accept that move okay rook f c2 oh uh, this move attacks the rook on a2 puts pressure on white's position okay but um but that's not the right answer let's try uh one more time Okay, can you please let me know? I tried your move for the puzzle. It didn't let me do. Try another answer. 
let's see if rfc2 is not there again it's it's what rf6 rf6 r f6 rook f6 how, how can rook go to f six there is no way there is a there is there is a okay i should have exp there is a bishop right above rook so i can't move and okay given the position of such as black is so okay if white responds 25th okay it's it's again the same problem that we faced last time it's it's again going back to the moves anyways um we can see the the right move is um, just moving the rook down so i mean the i lost some points but the point is we know the chat gpt actually can play chess chat gpt does a good job really good job in being a chess commentator and uh, it can also help us in learning like if for example if you want to know why somebody has made a move then you can probably go ask like give the board position and then ask chat gpt like why somebody has made a move and chat gpt can actually explain you like like what is the what is the intention like both the sides make um, moves white prevents any counterplay it can actually explain you why such a move has been made i think this is quite interesting for one because it can help you learn chess if you know basics of chess so it can help you like for example you can you can go ask um, I think it's called Ponziani. Can can you explain Ponziani opening? Ponziani opening. So let's see if it can explain. Okay, it's a chess opening that starts with moves. So for example, this is a wonderful way to learn chess with somebody like feedback. Like you don't, even if you don't have like a proper human trainer, I think this is this is like wonderful way to learn chess iteratively while you are playing something and also getting the feedback. I think. This is an excellent solution. I I always wanted to try this, but I never thought that ChatGPT would actually play chess quite well. And like you said, like it's not exactly like Stockfish. I'm glad it's not exactly like a drop and replacement of uh, Stockfish because we don't need another Stockfish. So I'm happy that uh, ChatGPT can play chess, not like Stockfish, but really you know explaining the steps. I think it messes up the board the board structure quite a bit uh, sometimes, but uh, still it's it's. Uh, it's it's really fascinating to see ChatGPT play chess. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, happy prompting.